Enduring Power Good evening family and friends, for tonight's devotional, we will be following a summary of the talk by Elder Kelly R. Johnson, of the 70 from the Sunday afternoon session, of the 190th Semiannual General Conference, of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, October 4, 2020. He spoke on our accessing the enduring power of God. Those who have faith, and the Word of God deep in their hearts, will be able to absorb and overcome the fiery darts which the adversary will surely send to destroy us. Otherwise, our faith, hope and conviction may not endure, and like an empty microwave oven, we could become a casualty. There is no expiration date associated with the power God bestows upon those who make and keep temple covenants, or a restriction from accessing that power during a pandemic. I invite you to seek the power God wants to give you. I testify that as we seek for this power, we will be blessed with a greater understanding of the love our Heavenly Father has for us. He quoted President Nelson, President Russell M. Nelson has taught about the principle of power, specifically God's power, and how to access it. Without getting the Word of God and faith in Jesus Christ deep into our hearts, our testimonies and faith may fail, and we may lose access to the power God wants to give us. Superficial faith is insufficient. Only faith, and the Word of God that fill our inner soul, are sufficient to sustain us, and to allow us to access His power. The power of God is bestowed upon those who make and keep temple covenants. That power only diminishes if individuals fail to keep their covenants. Elder Richard G. Scott defined the power of God as the power to do more than we can do by ourselves. Filling one's heart and soul with the Word of God and a foundation of faith in Jesus Christ is crucial to drawing upon the power of God for help in these challenging times. Having the Word of God deep in the soul, coupled with faith in Jesus Christ and His Atonement, allows individuals to draw upon the power of God to overcome the adversary. As we face challenges, we can rely upon the promise of the Lord taught by Paul, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 1 Timothy 1 verse 7 There is no expiration date associated with the power, God bestows upon those who make and keep temple covenants, or a restriction from accessing that power during a pandemic, His power diminishes in our lives, only if we fail to keep our covenants, and do not live in a way that allows us to continually qualify to receive His power. These covenants, if kept, give us vision and expectations regarding the future, and a clear determination to qualify to receive all that the Lord has promised, through our faithfulness. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Good night. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Don't believe everything you think.